Cameron Equipment Rentals Limited. Cameron Equipment Rentals Limited serves local and national construction and oil and gas companies that operate primarily in Western Canada. The company rents out heavy construction equipment, ground thaw, and heat exchangers, fencing, container storage, scissor lifts, telehandlers, forklifts, tents, and temporary building structures that range from 30 to 120 feet, including removable foundations. The company's largest storage yard is located in Winfield, Alberta, 135 kilometers southwest of Edmonton. 273 kilometers northwest of Calgary. Being located within the Calgary-Edmonton corridor, the Winfield Storage Yard enables rapid equipment deployment to various job sites across Western Canada. Cameron Equipment Rentals customers include Ledcor, PCL, Stuart Olson, Worley Parsons, Lux Developments, Suncor, Shell, Fleur, Kiwit, Crescent Point Energy, and Cameron Construction Services Limited, a successful contractor that operates since 1996. Experienced business owner John Cameron is co-founder and chief operating officer of Cameron Equipment Rentals Limited. John's business experience includes leading and managing great people, owning and running profitable construction and development businesses, making it happen, and getting things done. John Cameron, you started Cameron Equipment Rentals Limited, partnering with Ken Peters. Why? Well, we see uh, the opportunity, I guess is the big reason. Uh, we use a lot of equipment within our construction company, and we rent a lot of equipment. And. Uh, and when I had an opportunity with a good friend, Kent Peters, and uh, we found the right people to run it, we went forward and, and we're very happy we did. And within the company, I, I operate as the chief operating officer. And uh, it's taken off from there. It's taken off very well. You're also the president and owner of Cameron Construction Services Limited. Is there a relationship between the two companies? As far as ownership, no. They're two separate entities. Cameron Equipment Rentals is owned with Ken Peters and myself and Cameron Construction is, is my company. There is a very good relationship with the working end of it. We do, uh, uh, Cameron Construction Services does a lot of turnkey projects throughout Alberta, Western Canada and within every one of those projects we have uh, a rental demand for some equipment. So we're, I'd like to say we're one of the biggest customers for Cameron Equipment but uh, the way it's turned out we're one of the customers and it's uh, it's uh, a, gr a great synergy between our construction company and the rental company. Do Cameron Construction Services and Cameron Equipment Rentals have strengths as companies that help them appeal to various groups of customers? Yes, Cameron Construction Services uh, will bring a lot of work and does bring a lot of work to Cameron Equipment Rentals with our turnkey projects. We uh, were involved in the oil sands in Fort McMurray with all the majors and that opens the door to, to use what I would say in-house um, Cameron Equipment Rentals equipment and it also uh, helps us too because Cameron Equipment Rentals is on a lot of projects that may require earthworks or may require buildings so there is a great synergy between the two companies and uh, it opens the door for just about anything you need in the construction industry. How do you see the current economic environment and business opportunities in Alberta? Right now uh, there's nothing but opportunity in Alberta. We, we can't keep up. We have uh, earthworks projects that uh, we just can't find enough equipment for. We have uh, projects that are we're planning with customers like uh, all the majors in Fort McMurray, Sonovas, Suncor, uh, Shell that uh, will go into the next five years and uh, we're specking projects that, that, uh, that they, they, they're putting in the books now and as far as the uh, as far as for us for the equipment side and the rental side, it's it's flat out. We, we're, we're turning work away, and I see the next three to five years of growth, and and these projects that are happening in Alberta here, 
they they can't turn the tap off. They have to keep them going. They're they're looking at when you see projects that have ten to twenty thousand men being planned to come into it, they're looking at five year five years plus of work, and uh, we're right in the heart of it. And that's what's exciting is that. Uh, we're in there on the earthwork side and we're in there on the rental side and, and we're just scratching the surface to what's happening here just in Alberta and that doesn't include the boom that's happening in Saskatchewan as well so we're excited there's there's a lot of stuff happening right now. Name some of the projects that you've got on the go. Well we have numerous projects on the go but a few of the bigger ones would be in Canabo Tower downtown here with uh, with Ledcor as our uh, working with them we have SATE with PCL uh, another very large project that we've uh, gone into with in Fort McMurray is at the Albion Sand site is through Ole Parsons on the Shell project. Uh, that's a two-year project um, and with both management uh, personnel as well as equipment. So a lot of projects on the go now. That's just a f just a few of them. We live in competitive, fast-changing, and economically uncertain times. Companies like yours can't afford to operate through trial and error. How do you balance the right planning tools with the management expertise to achieve full potential of your contracts? Very simple. We have the right people for the right job. Uh, we, I wouldn't have gone forward with Cameron Equipment Rentals if we weren't able to get the people we have. And these people have uh, years of a project management experience, years of the rental ex business, and, and if you don't have the people, you got nothing. In our camera construction side, we've had 15, maybe 18 years of project management, turnkey project management. So we utilize those same people to help on the equipment side when needed. And it's all about the right people. Where do you see camera and equipment rentals five years from now? Well, I think the sky's the limit where we could be. But uh, definitely we will have a strong presence in Fort McMurray and we'll be expanding across the provinces in Canada. We'll also uh, be going after some niche markets in the U.S. that uh, we're getting some opportunity for. What actions do you take to increase market share and maximize new business opportunities? I think the most important thing is that we differentiate ourselves from other rental companies. The basic rental company that's out there today has a tool or has a, has a, a piece of equipment that you come in, you rent, it's predetermined, and you bring it back. For us, we, we are involved in the project management with the customer. We're involved in anything that that project manager for that site needs. And that can be involved in everything from fuel supply, propane supply, equipment, small tools. It can be even where we're, we're supplying manpower to manage the project and to, uh, to help him with whatever he has there. And then what happens is the project manager just looks at one person to call, and that's us. And when we can do all that, they don't, they don't call other rental companies for any equipment they need. They just call us. Thank you. Thank you. Without a doubt, John Cameron's entrepreneurial success is the outcome of long-term repeat customers and his focus on priorities that count and generate profit. As Cameron Equipment Rentals achieves success already, sure, a level of it, its customers are satisfied and the company negotiates new contracts. Indisputably, the company's achievements are the outcome of working with a great team focused on the customer's particular needs. Tony, you act as service and marketing director for Cameron Equipment Rentals. What challenges do you face? Well, the biggest challenges that we face every day is honestly keeping up with um, the demand that we're finding in the marketplace. The, the industry is hot, the market is hot, and the biggest challenge that we face is actually being able to keep up with the demand that we're generating every day. To date, there are several definitions for marketing. One of them says, marketing involves creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings. How do you create, communicate, deliver, and exchange offerings to the benefit of the company you market for? Well, first, uh, we start with our brand. And our brand is really the most key part of all of our marketing efforts. Everything that we do, um, from 
social media to uh, various different websites, our marketing pieces, our brochures, our business cards, our face-to-face -face time, um, our, this piece that we're working on right now today is all built around our brand. And our brand is really important to us, and that's how we design what we create and what we take to market. One can't talk marketing without considering segmentation, targeting, and positioning. How do you handle the three-stage process? Well, when we go to market, we base uh, our targeting on what is happening in the market for industry research. We look at the largest potential projects in our market sector. We look at the largest potential customers for our market sector. From there, we identify them and then we target them. Positioning, we go to market and position ourselves as experts in our industry. And that's what really brings us our positioning with our clients is choosing to be a valued uh, advisor rather than simply an equipment supplier. Do you consider the objectives of the company as a whole at the corporate level? Yes. Everything that we do at Cameron Equipment Rentals, even though we do it on a day-to-day -day basis and we're always focused on what we're doing at the moment, everything we do focuses on our bigger picture plans. And we have a big vision and a big dream here. So if we don't incorporate our small activities into the same feel and entity as our large-scale planning and our long-term planning, uh, we would have a very fragmented company. So we do build that in in everything we do. In today's highly competitive market, standing out from competitors is an ongoing challenge. How do you find, attract, and win new customers? The interesting thing about the construction industry, which is our primary focus at this particular juncture, is that even though it's a large industry, a very diverse industry, it's a very small and very tight-knit community. So what we typically do is very simple, not very easy. We identify the largest five or six projects, the largest five or six potential customers in any given market, and we continue to work on those clients by using face-to-face -face visits, phone calls, conversations, uh, relationship building events, until they realize that what we do is we leverage our existing relationships in the industry. We have a long and proven track record of supplying service that goes above and beyond anything that is supplied by a traditional uh, equipment rental house in this industry. And what we do is continue to build on that reputation of service. And that is what we leverage when we go out targeting these customers we've identified. We prove to them that we're not just a rental house. Anyone can rent equipment. We provide service at levels that other rental houses can't even dream of. And that is how we win our long-term clients. Companies are looking for cost reduction measures, particularly reducing the cost to serve. Yes. How do you optimize cost to serve? Well, what we find that's very interesting, actually, in our industry, there's a misconception that uh, the rental industry is very rate or price structure driven. And what we find, the more time we spend with our clients, it's not rates that drive their costs. It's other secondary factors that really push their costs up. This is where we really help them a lot because we take so many secondary services and pieces of equipment and things like that off their plate that they find that they may actually pay a higher rate for equipment. Having said that, they find that they end up with a more profitable project because of our expertise, our full uh, portfolio of services that we provide that actually streamlines their operations, makes the projects go faster, and at the end of the day, more profitable. If a company doesn't secure faultless customer experience, that company risks rapid decline in today's economy because competitors are numerous and specialized. What do you do to improve insight into customer and market trends? My experience has been in the industry that companies are willing to spend enormous amounts of money on doing surveys and research and all of those sorts of things in order to try to find out what their customers are thinking. When in reality, all we have to do is ask them. And that's what we do. We take our best customers and we ask them, what is your best experience with other suppliers like us? What is your worst experience? We take our worst customers, people that have had bad experiences, and ask them the same questions. And that information 
is worth way more than what we can get from any sort of survey that's conducted by a polling institution or anything like that. Ask the customer. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. From industrial to agricultural development and everything in between, Cameron Equipment Rentals has the equipment a project requires and the qualified operators to get the job done right. Larry Flunder, the Director of Sales, guarantees it each time he meets potential customers or attends conferences, trade fairs, and exhibitions. Larry Flunder, you're the Director of Sales for Cameron Equipment Rentals. What does it take to be a prolific sales director? I have customer relations, I have customer loyalty, I have networking, and I have clients for the last 31 years that I have dealt with that we have built a relationship. And it's not just a salesman relationship, it's a relationship as a friendship. Um, when we go out to hockey games, I, you know, if you go to um, camping, you go on holidays with these people, you get to know these people, you get to know their expectations, you get to know their, their increases, you get to know what they expect on their job site. And that goes a long ways, guys, because you can't get rid of, or sorry, it's harder to get rid of a salesman. I mean, uh, it's not as hard to get rid of a salesman. It's harder to get rid of uh, a friend, and I know it's business, but I know what these people expect. And that's, that's what I bring to the table, is networking, uh, relationship building. You are responsible for creating and delivering sales strategy, keeping a careful eye on the equipment range and target markets. How do you do it? The targets that they did set for the company have been far exceeded. We have been doing it for a short period of time, five, five and a half months now we have blown all the targets away and these people uh, are very impressed it was a surprising a pleasant surprise that we could do this much in such a short period of time it's it's unbelievable we cannot keep up we're just trying to keep our lips above the water line we didn't see growing into these markets that quick uh, what the company has offered is, is is something that is unique in the company and i didn't know it was going to take off like this i i i'm only lucky to be in this seat, in this position that I'm in. As a salesperson, it is incredible that I, this stuff sells itself. What, what we do for service is unbelievable. It, it, it reaches everybody to all aspects, the, the, the synergies between the companies, the synergies we have with competitors. We don't go into the competitor's market and they don't say, you know what, we don't want them on site because we do uh, lifts and we do uh, man lifts and we do scissor lifts and everything. We're not going to branch into that. So they bring us on site and then we bring them on site. So we've got synergies with even our competitors. You guys can go to one of our competitors and say, okay, I need heaters. We'll come and get them or we'll drop them off. That's where it begins and ends. We have A-ticketed ga a -ticketed gas fitters. We take it to site. We position it. We're being asked right now to come in on a level that no other competitors have been asked to come in on. Our, our competitors can't react the way we can. Uh, how we are situated in the industry right now, we can, if, I, if you come to me and you say, you know what, Larry, I need a Zumbu. What we do is we, we go, okay, what do you need? And I look at it and go, my ROI on that would be six months to a, to a year. Okay, I can make 50 to 60% return on profit. Okay, I'll do it. If not, if I'm making 20 or 30 percent, then I'm going to re-rent it off of one of our competitors. Let them, it's perception. They, they just want one-stop shopping is what it is, guys, truly one-stop shopping. They want to get the piece of equipment. I have it. If I don't have it, then I will re-rent it from another competitor, put it on their site. They don't care where it comes from. As long as they get it, no downtime, no fuss, no muss. That's how we do it. It's, there's no big secret. The secret is how they've meshed it together so it is not renting or selling equipment it is selling a service what actions do you take to increase market share and maximize new business opportunities guys we're adjusting on the fly here we didn't see it taking off in such a, uh, a fashion it is uh, literally soaring what we have now is we're trying to play catch up with our customers and that's a good that's a good thing is is trying to get what your customers need instead of what they want so our customers right now, we're trying to get equipment. We've aligned ourselves with manufacturers. We've aligned ourselves with a propane company. Now we have to align ourselves with uh, a labor force that we're trying to get everything in a ball here and get, our, uh, get it all in a group. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. I don't know the answer to that. Um, it, it has taken off like a rocket, guys. It is, it's unbelievable. It's like we are the only ones 
I don't know, John and Kent have watched um, Field of Dreams too many times. If you build it, they will come. It is unbelievable. You are responsible for achieving revenue targets, profitability, and sales growth. Do you also take responsibility for loss? Yes, I take the loss. If there was a loss, there is no loss. If everything is booming here in Alberta right now, in, in Western Canada, we have been offered jobs as far away as Toronto to quote on jobs for the Pan Am Games. We have another client that is building 50 high-rise towers in the Vancouver area. 50, guys. This is like 12 or 13-year project. Ask the quote on this. Like, it's just not local that we're dealing here. We, we got our multi-million dollar contract in Fort McMurray where we're sending up, f well, four men, six men, sorry, six men to do 24-hour heater watch. We're not only renting the heaters, we're renting the propane, 2.4 million liters of propane. We're renting the heaters, we're supplying the manpower on site to monitor this for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's unbelievable the projects we have landed here just from the sheer synergies of the three companies that these guys have put together. How do you control the selling costs to achieve predetermined net profit yields? The sky's the limit if we had the amount of equipment. I, I mean, we are a Calgary-based and a Fort McMurray-based company right now, and we're trying to handle these markets in Western Canada to be offered um, um, projects of these. These are high-profile projects that we've been offered to bid on, and it's, it's word of mouth. It's only word of mouth right now that it's because of the high-profile accounts we have, uh, the Bow Project, the SAIT, um, the um, airport expansion, the airport tunnels, um, we're pretty much, I don't know if we can handle anymore and, and that's not a bad thing, that's something that is, as a salesman, that's incredible. It's incredible to say, I'm a salesman and, and we are bred to say, mine, 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 mine and just keep going. But for me to say, wait a second, will we do an injustice? We are tapped out here. I don't know if we can grow much faster than what we are. We were on, we're like a rocket. We're just vertical straight up. And it's not coming to an end because of how these guys have situated the company. It is, we do everything. It's a one-stop shop. It's unbelievable uh, to increase profit and everything. All I'm trying to do is keep up with the clients that we have now and not let anybody down. Cameron Equipment Rentals is, without a doubt, a growing company in Alberta. In a time when Statistics Canada predicts that provincial construction investment will grow 10 to 20 percent over the next seven years. That's very exciting for the leadership of Cameron Equipment Rentals. Building on its success, the company is committed to aggressively compete in the new trends, taking pride in its upcoming achievements.